That's not happy. That's not a good thing at all. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome back to another Pokemon Days. Today we're doing a, a monotype, a mono steel team, which uh, is really one of the easiest teams to build. Uh, I've got Citizen Snips, who is my Caesar in the first slot with a choice band. Uh, Bullet Punch really helps get rid of rock types and things that might have Earthquake. Uh, U-Turn is just friggin' super powerful and probably what I use the most for him. He's just uh, a really nice pivot switch. Kinguin is uh, the Empoleon. He's also got a choice item, a choice scarf, and a Waterfall Earthquake Drill Peck and Metal Claw gives some pretty good coverage. Um, definitely for fire type teams. I'm playing around uh, this guy, so he's one of the biggest components of this team for sure. Uh, in the third slot I have Lucario, I call him Lundgren, and he's a, a special attacker with an air balloon and nasty plot, which is pretty de decent coverage. Uh, he's got steel moves, fighting moves, and dark moves, which kind of... Uh, can get anything that comes out onto the field, so Lucario's a really dangerous attacker as well. Um, mostly offense on this team, and um, we'll get to the reason why. <clears throat> Barbara is a Ferrothorn uh, with an Assault Vest. Most people kind of expect it to set up hazards and things, so a lot of times they'll taunt her to the face and uh, she'll end up getting that fucking Power Whip or Gyro Ball or knock off or leech seed, but uh, Power Whip and Gyro Ball both have some massive, massive attack power, especially when used by Barbara. Gyro Ball um, a attack is based on um, your speed versus the enemy's speed, so if they have a really fast Pokemon, you can probably take it down, even if it's a uh, not very effective hit. I know uh, things like Zapdos definitely go down to Barbara, and that Assault Vest uh, increases special defense in exchange for only using attacking moves, which is really, really awesome. Um, so yeah, Ferrothorn's definitely on my team, and it's kind of a nice fake-out Pokemon. Keys is a Klefki with a Rocky Helmet. I basically use it to set up screens. Um, I don't generally need the screens for too long because this is really, really an offensive team and something, once something like uh, Lucario or Smashbot gets set up, then uh, things might be in trouble. Who is Smashbot? Smashbot is the Metagross. Um, leftovers, Clear Body, Agility, Earthquake, Explosion, Headbutt, uh, Zen Headbutt, really uh, gets walled by rock, rock and Steel types and things like that. Um, Especially Skarmory, yeah. Skarmory has given this thing quite some trouble. I do have uh, things to play around it, uh, mostly in the form of Lucario. Uh, but yeah, that's really the only team that gives a Mono Steel much trouble. Let's let's put it to the test. Let us do that. Okay, so we've got a uh, Fire type team up against us. And there is that heat ran in there, which is probably going to present some problems for my uh, mostly steel team, but we shall see how it goes. I go ahead and lead with Klefki, and he leads with the heat ran, as I probably would have done as well. I'm going to set up the light screen, expecting him to get some uh, shenanigans going, and there's a massive overheat. So uh, we're going to get probably one set of screens, and that's going to be it for my poor little Klefki. Goes for the flash cannon on the second turn. It's weird that uh, he wouldn't go for that first, I guess. He did drop his special attack right out of the gate. So I'm going to send Smashbot in here. And uh, hopefully we can get some fucking Earthquake and Agility shenanigans. I just realized I was faster and probably should have just gone for the Earthquake straight off right there. But uh, I'm able to take the Overheat relatively well because of his special attack drops and his screens. So there is a, a super effective Earthquake. Find out that he does have the Sash which is really unfortunate. Luckily that overheat misses, although I don't think it would do that much. I think it would take about like 30% maybe. Um, but yeah, there's a Zen Headbutt. I will also switch to a, a less effective move <laughs> just to kind of sweep him out of the way. I'm thinking Moltres is gonna come in next, um, but my screens are starting to wear off now. He's brought in a Volcarona, which is extremely dangerous, so I'm just gonna go ahead and explode my Metagross here. Unfortunately, it's another fucking Pokemon with a Sash, which is generally uh, a pretty good idea, I think. 
Yeah, he uses Fiery Dance. He was trying to get some special attack boosts. Fire Pokemon are extremely frail. Um, things like Arcanine or Embor can take a hit, but yeah, definitely Delphox and Volcarona are going to want uh, a little more bulk. I go for the Bullet Punch to get the Revenge Kill on the Ramona. <laughs> Volcarona ended up burning my fucking scissor, which is really, really really foul, um, so I basically just crippled him for the entire match, and uh, I think I'm just gonna throw him away here on the Arcanine, try and get whatever damage I can with Bullet Punch, and it ain't much, takes me down with the Flare Blitz, um, yeah, that's not happy, that's not a good thing at all, but I do have, uh, Kinguin waiting in the wings, just once, once the, uh, foul things are cleared up, I was mostly worried about a Giga Drain from the Volcarona, uh, close combat from that Arcanine if it was at full health, but I don't think it's going to survive a, uh, a waterfall at 60% HP. He brings in the Delphox now, and I'm just going to keep smashing out these waterfall. Another fucking Sash Pokemon. Jeez, man. And uh, get the flinch there, luckily. I think that mattered, maybe. Um, even if it hit me with a Fire Blast, I... I, I still have a full health Kinguin. I don't think it would have been taken down. So, uh, he brings in his Embor. I'm gonna go ahead and pull Kinguin out of here, uh, predicting some fighting type moves. Here comes Barbara, and he does come in with the hammer arm. Unfortunately, yeah, Barbara doesn't get to shine in this battle, but she did her job serving as a nice, uh, pivot switch. So here comes Lucario. Hopefully I can get something done. I don't really have time to nasty plot against the Embor, so I just uh, lob, lob some damage out with Aura Sphere, and uh, yeah, I get taken down by Heat Crash. Luckily, I think Kinguin is going to be able to come in and take down the Embor, as well as uh, sweeping that Moltres up. But yeah, a poke and a half for Kinguin. Luckily, it is a Mono Fire type, so that's not going to be too hard. Ah. <sighs> Good fight, good night. So friends, this has been a Mono Steel battle. Uh, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I do hope that you have enjoyed the episode. And if you have, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a TV. You can watch things on it. They'll lie to you through it. <laughs> but there it is, the victory. Uh, definitely a strong, strong monotype. If you're looking to... Uh, yeah, build your first Mondo type or something like that. Steel is definitely a good one, uh, because all you have to really build for is fighting ground and fire. And yeah, my team has resistances to all of that in one way or the other. Uh, Scizor and Metagross block out the fighting types. <laughs> uh, Kinguin is basically the only one that blocks out fire types, but generally, um, yeah, you can play around it. You saw that in this match. And then you've also got the ground types, which um, are resisted by Ferrothorn, Caesar, and even Lucario has the air balloon. So yeah, definitely playing around with with uh, monotypes is one of my favorite things to do, aside from random battling. I might take a little break from uh, Pokemon Days and try something new on Mondays, might go back to a Nuzlocke, I'm kind of unsure, it's up in the air, but I do hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, yeah, smash that like button, comment, subscribe, whatever you do. I'm right here, man. Got your TV ready. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you in the next one, friend. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend.